So for today, we're going to be looking at the Sunlit Armor set for the Titans. If you guys don't know, we already reviewed the armor and have the shaders for it. They're both right here. You guys can check it out. We go over how it looks, uh, how it shaders, my personal thoughts. And yeah, overall, it's a really good video in my personal opinion. And then the shader video, which I just show you all of the shaders that I currently have for that armor set. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, I really do appreciate it. Uh, definitely check those videos out if you guys are interested in getting this armor. I mean, it's free. You might as well get it specifically the non-glow is free from ava and we also already made the hunter sets right here really really cool sets i definitely would recommend you guys checking that one out especially if you're a hunter because i did i did really good sets in that one so again like comment subscribe i really do appreciate it other than that titans oh my god so i definitely think you guys got some bangers uh in this video because i was just i think damn near all of them if not all of them i really really like so to start off, the helmet is where, where we're going to be using. And this one is a banger, in my opinion. I think the Dreaming Cash Shader looks really, really good with it because it does have gold in there. And for the arms, we're going to be using Arms of Optimacy. I really like this one. It's such a dub because of the engraving on the shoulder pads. And it's actually big for the shoulders, which I actually really did want. For the chest piece, Forbidden Visage is what we're using. And I actually think this is good as well, especially with Dreaming's uh, cast because it has blue in there. So it masks the blue, the non blue color or the non shaderable blue color that it has, unfortunately, which is on the chest piece, like directly on the plate and then on the stomach. The lines, those blue lines don't change color. For the boots, Phoenix Strife Type O is what we're using just because A, I wanted to have like a nightly look. And the Phoenix Strife Type O's actually have color separation uh, compared to the other ones, which is the Devastation Complex, I think they're called. That one is just one full color, so it would have been just blue all around. And I wanted to have some color separation because obviously there's a lot of colors in this set. And then for the mark, we're going to be using the Sunlit Mark just because I wanted to use two pieces for this one because I did think you need, we needed it. This one is super dope because you can actually customize it a lot. You can use any exotic that you really, really want. Granted, you need to be careful and not put a set that looks weird because then it's just going to look weird. But if you have like a knightly look or like a royal look, then it's definitely going to look good with this set. As for the next set, we're going to be using the second chance exotic for this one. And for this one, we're going to be using the chest piece for the sunlit. This one is going to I'm going to be real with you guys. I had a really rough time with this one just because uh, the chest piece is just a little bit too small for my liking. That being said, I still think it looks pretty cool, especially with the second chance uh, arms. I think the second chance arms make it really good just because the shoulder pads aren't like all the way up top to the shoulders. So it legitimately looks like the arms are part of the chest piece, which I really, really like. Uh, for the helmet radiant breaker helm is what we're using, which is funny considering we're using a void ex exotic with an ornament that's clearly solar i usually do that just because i don't give a fuck about that and i think it looks cool overall obviously we're using the helmet because of the engravings because again the chest has engravings and the boots also have engravings which for the boots sunstead greaves majestic is what we're using definitely love this set i really wish bungie would allow players that didn't get some of these pieces that didn't have the glow like be uh, obtainable again because there is no way to obtain them um if you didn't get them that year then you didn't get them at all which is unfortunate i mean you can get the glows on like on, in the store but i do wish there was like some quests that you could do that could get you some of the non-glow because again i think the non-glow is legitimately the best armor like the glows is cool but sometimes you don't want to glow and get for this per uh for this point yeah i didn't want to glow for this one i think the only glow i wanted was radiant breaker helm and that's it and then another solstice piece candescent mark i think this looks really cool um again this is like one of my favorite marks in the game for titans just because it looks really really cool and again it's just really unfortunate that players that don't have it will not have the non-glow version so let me know what you think about this one i definitely think this one is super cool and i don't know how second chance is right now in the meta but I, honestly i would probably like i would even say this one is almost like like not class agnostic but exotic agnostic because like Doomfang Pauldrons would look really, really cool with this one. I think Aeons would be interesting with this, but like no backup plans I think would be cool. Point, con point Contact Brace Cannon, maybe, maybe. 
And then just again, like I'm looking at all of the exotic arms that Titans have, and like Ursa Furiosas would look really cool with this. Granted, I probably would switch out the shader for something else. Speaking of shaders, we're using Refined Revels for this one. And you will notice that I use this for the Warlocks as well, just because I wanted to use Refined Revels in there because it is a new shader and I think it's one of the best Solstice shaders right now. So let me know what you guys think about this one. As for the next set, we're going to be using the arms and this one is super cool as well. A lot of things are happening visually, but I do think aesthetically it looks really, really cool. For this one, the helmet is the helm of the Emperor's Champion. Unfortunately, this is unobtainable. That being said, we might never know. Bungie might bring back Leviathan, which is the raid that it's from, but you can ignore the helmet for something else. To be fair, a lot of these pieces are kind of out there for the chest piece. Solstice plate majestic is what we're using. This one is definitely like you need it to be there to get this because Eververse doesn't even sell this. So that's why I say some of these pieces are out there because we have one from an old raid from year one of destiny two and then a chess piece that's from like i think what year two or three if i remember correctly i don't even remember what exact year so that's why i'm like it's unfortunate but i really like these sets quite a bit for the boots solstice graves magnificent is what we're using this one isn't currently in store right now so you can get this one and i do think it's one of the best boots in the game for titans just because i do think it looks really really cool and then for the mark tusk allegiance mark is what we're using i love this mark this is like one of my favorite marks for the titans i just think it looks amazing so overall, I really like this set. It gives off a very royal warrior look, kind of like <clears throat> this warrior has been decorated with a lot of uh, engraved armor because they, they're they kind of like a champion at this point, hence why Helm of the Emperor's Champion. The only gripe I could say is that the arms just feel too small, specifically the pauldrons. I do wish they were a little bit bigger and actually not even the left side. I think the left side's fine. I think it's the right side that's a little bit too small for my taste. Other than that, I think the set's amazing. I, I think I would want to see how the glow looks for the arms in this set just because there's so much purple happening that I want to see if the glow would actually make this set even better but I'm not going to go into Destiny 2 right now to check if that's the case because quite honestly I don't feel like wasting 15 bucks on glows that don't have like a significant change because from Solstice Play and Solstice Graves those two you can see a lot of things happening the uh, the boots have the cracks in the glow which looks really cool the chest piece looks really cool as well and yeah i just don't think the arms are gonna be that good so let me know what you guys think about this one i definitely love it that being said i don't know if i love it more than the the next set which is gonna be dreaming spectrum for the shader and then from that we are using the tried and true uh combination of light King gauntlets meridian constellation plate and thunderous impact mark I've combined these three pieces in a few sets, not a lot, but a few sets. And the reason for it is because Meridian Constellation, I just love that, that chest piece. I think it's amazing. But then when you combine it with the Light King Gauntlets, I think it's super cool because the Light King Gauntlets have the fur. And I really love the fact that it combines like the chest and the arms really well. And then for the Thunder's Impact Mark, that one is new. That one, I started combining it with the Meridian Constellation plate because the grooves are not the lines on the chest piece and the lines on the belt, I think are like, they go really well together. So that's why I combine those three usually, but then we're using the boots for this one. And I think the boots are some of the best pieces for the Titans, just because the fact that the armor is so like not organic, but so smooth, like it almost doesn't look like she's wearing any plate armor, but I'm pretty sure that's plate armor considering Dreaming Spectrum, usually that color for plate armor is bone white. So that's why I'm like, ooh, that looks so cool. I love just all of it. Like there is nothing to bitch about these boots. I love them a lot. And then for the helmet, Helm of the Falling Comet is what we're using. I'm gonna be real with you guys. This set just kind of like, I was like, this looks cool. This looks cool. This is a lot of rule of cool. And I'm really okay with it because I think all of it looks super dope. So this one, I want to say is my favorite, but there's just so many good sets in this video that I don't, and I can't in good conscience tell you which one is my favorite. Um, I could tell, definitely tell you the second chance set. I wouldn't say it's like bad, but it's not like up there with the other sets because again, the first set looks so fucking good. 
I, I think like warrior wise, it hits the nail. Speaking of warrior, the arm set is also really good because it gives off a, a very like decorated warrior vibe. And, <clears throat> and the last one I think looks more like, more like, uh, how do I say this? Like a dream warrior, like a galactic warrior, not galactic, like in the sense of like future technological, but like, like I can see the last one walking in the universe, like super i don't know it's hard to explain but let me know what you guys think about this one as for the shader of the like the last portion let's go with uh, let's go with i want to say grand luster you know what i'll let you choose which shader did you guys like in this video i am personally gonna say the dreaming cast it really really surprised me so i'm i'm gonna say dreaming cast how about this? You tell me the shader you like, and I will say type dreaming cast. How about that? Let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys. Other than that, be safe. I will see you guys later.